Quilt Motion gives you the ability to quilt as if you had a long arm, even when using a regularly sized home sewing machine. In the following examples, we will show how you can split larger patterns normally requiring a longer throat machine to quilt. In this example, we will show a four petal flower pattern being placed in a 10 inch block, which will split into a top half and a bottom half, both five inches. At your computer, you first highlight or select the top half of your pattern. Click Quilt Motion and use the appropriate placement method based on your pattern and preferred quilting method. In this example, we select the one point placement with the start point fill method. Once the top half is complete, advance your quilt the appropriate distance to bring the next portion of your block into the quiltable area of your machine. We can now select the bottom portion of the pattern utilizing the same placement method, aligning the start point of your pattern. Using the same placement and fill method, quilt the bottom half of your pattern. We'll repeat this process utilizing a different pattern in four inch block halves. This is an excellent way of quilting large blocks normally beyond the capability of your sewing machine. During the course of your quilting, there will always be a time when the bobbin runs out or the top thread breaks. When this occurs, this system provides a way to go back to the point of outage or breakage and begin sewing exactly where you stopped. When you notice your bobbin is out or your thread is broken, press the pause button on the LCD display to stop your machine and carriage. You then have two options. The option you select is determined by the situation. If your bobbin has run out, select Manually Find, which will disengage your carriage, allowing you to move it to the side. After replacing your bobbin, move your carriage back over your pattern just previous to the outage. When you select Next, your machine will attempt to align itself to the nearest stitch based on you manually locating the carriage. If a breakage or outage occurs near multiple stitch paths, the machine may realign with an unintended path. If your thread breaks near one of these junctions, it is recommended that you move to a point on your pattern previous to the break but after this junction to ensure that the right path is selected. You can then utilize a trace forward or trace back to bring the carriage to the outage point. You can also utilize the one stitch forward and one stitch backward buttons to move the carriage to the exact stitch. This process can also be followed in the event your top thread breaks. When moving the machine back to the point of breakage, it might be necessary to align the needle more precisely. This is done by selecting the Align Needle button, then pushing the corresponding Nudge button. Once aligned, you can retrace your pattern in both directions to confirm alignment by selecting Retrace Pattern, or simply resume the stitching process. With this system, you have the freedom to quilt in freehand mode as well. You can do this with or without stitch regulation. Another unique and powerful feature is the record mode. Use record mode to stitch a pattern freehand and then have the system repeat your pattern as many times as you would like. Just like freehand mode, you can stitch with or without stitch regulation. To record a pattern, at the stitching menu, select or push the record button. Next, determine whether or not you want to be in stitch regulation mode. Now move the carriage to your desired location to begin stitching your pattern. Now press Start to activate the machine and begin the recording process. After you've completed your pattern, press Stop. You can proceed to repeat and quilt this pattern using one of your standard placement methods or review and edit your pattern at the computer using the PatternCAD program. Using PatternCAD, you can adjust it in any way desirable using features like smoothing. You can also create your desired start and stop points. To repeat your pattern, select your placement method and let Quilt Motion do the rest. Next, we'll demonstrate the two point placement method. This placement method utilizes two points to define the possible positioning and angle of your pattern. The pattern is aligned between your two selected points and positioned on your selected fill method. We will quilt a heart pattern using the four different two point placement methods available. First, we'll demonstrate the two-point placement method by utilizing the start point fill method. Next is a two-point utilizing the stretch fill method. Now we show the two-point scale fill method. And finally, the two-point method stretched on an angle, illustrating that both points are used to determine the pattern angle.
refer back to this training DVD as often as required. Also, please refer to your quick start guides on pattern placement methods. Your program CD also includes tutorials for further orientation, helps, and tips.